Get your flu vaccine. Dr. Katie Stordahl from East Tennessee Children's Hospital is here now to explain what you need to know this morning. Thanks for being here. Thank you. So I got my flu shot a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. My little girl got vaccinated three weeks ago mm -hmm. and they're telling us like get it now, right? You mm -hmm. shouldn't wait. You shouldn't and it's because it takes a couple of weeks for it to be effective. So typically if you get it in October, then you're vaccinated and it's effective before flu season truly starts into November. Okay, so there's some things that we need to talk about as mm -hmm. far as the flu goes. Some myths, some things people should know. The flu is actually very dangerous for children. It is, and I think that many people think, oh, it's just the flu, and they equate it maybe with a cold. Mm -hmm. But true influenza lasts much longer than a cold, involves higher fevers, killed 136 children last year, mm -hmm. which is a small percentage of the number of children who contracted flu, but those are still 136 children that, that didn't need to pass away. Mm -hmm. So it can be very dangerous, especially for young babies and then for older people as well. Are you already starting to see cases of the flu pop up? Just a few. Just a so few. It, okay. it hasn't truly reached our area yet, but, but we know it's coming and that's why we always want to encourage people to vaccinate before it actually comes. Mm -hmm. Well, some people say, well, I don't ever get the flu because mm -hmm. I've never had it. I don't ever mm -hmm. get the flu vaccine. That's mm -hmm. why I, you know, I don't get it because I haven't had the flu. Is that a myth? Well, they may never have had the flu yeah. and they're just very lucky. You know, I actually used to say that until med school when I had true influenza. Yes. And I was so sick for a week that I decided never again mm -hmm. do I want to be that sick if I can prevent it. And so every year I've had my flu shot mm -hmm. since then. My kids also get it because yes. I don't want them to be that sick. Right. And you can get influenza sometimes when you have a flu shot mm -hmm. because it's not 100% coverage. But when you get the flu and you've had your flu vaccine, your symptoms are much milder. They don't last as long and people typically don't end up having complications like they right. have if they haven't had their vaccine. Well, and if you've ever had the flu, you don't ever want it again. You don't. It feels what are terrible. some of the symptoms if you think you have the flu? Fever is the number one symptom and it's typically high fevers, especially in children. So 102, 103, 104, high enough to make children absolutely miserable. Mm -hmm. Headache that can be throbbing or pounding runny nose, coughs, or throat, ear pain, and then the body aches can be terrible where people just feel like I can't get out of bed. So in addition to making you feel that bad for children because they feel bad, they face the risk of dehydration because when kids feel bad, they usually won't drink. Right. So that is what we often see them with in the ER is that they're coming in mm -hmm. very dehydrated and then sometimes they'll get a secondary pneumonia or ear infection mm -hmm. because they have the flu. Now if people uh, don't want to get the vaccine, there is another alternative, right? There is. The flu mist is back. Mm -hmm. It has been reevaluated by the CDC and has been shown to be as effective for children as getting the vaccine. Mm -hmm. So we encourage people to get either. It's usually available through schools, mm -hmm. walking clinics, health departments, and then of course general pediatricians can give it to their patients as well. And it is important to get the flu shot every year, right? Yes, yeah. because it's different strains that come around every year. So the strains that are picked to, to indicate for that vaccine are based on what research shows will probably be the flu strains that are coming through the country in that year. And they're different every year. Do we so think it, it'll be particularly bad this year? Or it's too early to tell? I think tell? it's probably too early okay. to tell, but we want people to just get it now just in case it is bad. All right, and where can people go for more information? They can go to our website at mm -hmm. Children's or of course the CDC's website as well. All right, Dr. Stornell, thanks for being here. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you. All right, we'll be back.